Hello, this is our character project for Banquo. So our first quote is on the heart. It says, O treachery, fly those leons, fly, fly, fly. Thou mayest heaven be your slave, act three, scene three. So basically what's happened is he tells his son to save himself as he is dying. He put this quote on Banquo's heart because it shows his love for his son. All right, our next quote is on his right hand. And it says, command upon me to which my duties are with a most indissoluble tie forever knit. And that's Act 3, Scene 1. In this quote, he's speaking to Macbeth and is telling him that he is available to help him with whatever he needs. We put this quote on his hand for the helping hand aspect and the specific calorie oh boy, on his right hand because it is the expression to be there for him whenever he needs. And so the right hand symbolizes he's his right hand man. Our next quote is in the brain, where it says, Besides the fate of Cawdor, which is strange, and oftentimes to win us to our harm, the instrument of darkness tells us truth, weigh us with honest trifles to betray and deep this consequence. In this quote, Ben Kuo is talking about um, the witch's prophecy and how it could be intended to harm or deceive them. The black represents the temp the black hair represents the temptation that the witch's prophecy gives him to do evil, and the empty, clear brain symbolizes how he stays of logical and the conscious to, and conscious to not give into these thoughts and temptations. The next one is the ring to the heart, um, which says, "Thou, oh, yeah, thou shalt get kings, though, uh, though thou be none." And in this quote, Benquo's prophecy is described by the witches. He is told that although he won't be a king himself, his bloodline will, meaning his sons will become kings. And the symbolism of the ring. Um, it shows the shape of a crown, which symbolizes his son's uh, future kingship. And the line from the left ring finger to the heart shows the literal and figurative bloodline that connects your left ring finger to your heart. Um, and then it shows his love for his children goes deeper than just um, the conscious one. So it's connected to his heart and how he is a family man. And it is an act one scene three. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Our next quote is, um, on his cross necklace here, it says, Lesser than Macbeth and greater from Act 1, Scene 3. The witches tell Banquo that he won't be king like Macbeth, but that he is destined for salvation, which is represented by the cross on the necklace. And the necklace is symbolic of his kingship because it shows his connection. <clears throat> Our next quote is over here, symbolized by a devil on his shoulder. Um, the quote reads, There's husbandry in heaven, the candles are all out. Two be that too. A heavy sum and light is the blood upon me from Act 2, Scene 1. In this quote, he talks about how no one is paying attention to him, and they're all looking away from um, the darkness of the night. Basically, in this quote, um, it's following the prophecy of the witches, and he feels um, like he wants to commit murder, like Macbeth kills King Duncan, but he decides not to. Um, we'll get into that a little bit later, but it overall just shows his interest in dark thoughts. Um, and our next quote is symbolized by the angel over here. The quote reads, And yet I would not sleep. Merciful power restraining me the cursed thoughts that nature gives way to and repose from Act 2, Scene 1. Um, in this one, Rainbow calls upon heaven to hold him back from murder, as we did explain here. Um, this shows his, self his selflessness. The angel represents the angel on your shoulder telling you to leap with light and get help with what intrusive thoughts are bothering him, and he remains um, conscious and logical um, to fight against the intrusive thoughts of his life. So, just in summary of like the devil and the angel, it just shows the dynamics that he's, uh, he goes through uh, throughout Macbeth. And for the ghost, it says, My noble partner, you agree with uh, President Grail and great prediction of noble having and a royal hope, Act 1, Scene 3. So what's happening is that Banquo is speaking about Macbeth in this quote. He speaks uh, kindly of him and represents him in a friendly manner. This shows his selflessness. Uh, he put the, we put this quote in to show his course, to show how he is a good uh, person in the inside and his true morals. I forgot to mention something just real quick. We put this sword to symbolize how he was murdered by Macbeth indirectly. And also it was here on the, by the cross necklace to show that Macbeth's
Um, and this, in this quote, Ben Quo is talking to Macbeth about Macbeth's plan to kill Duncan. He says Ben Quo doesn't want to take part in the murder show of his morals. Ben Quo says he is willing to discuss it later as long as it doesn't dishonor him. And his legs represent his stable foundation and that he is true to his morals. And our last one is represented here in the moods. And it says, as far my lord, as you fill up the time, twixt this and supper, go not my course the better. I must become a borrow of the night for a dark hour or twain. Our three scene one, and in this quote, Ben Quo is speaking to Macbeth about how he will take Fleance away because of his suspicions of his murder. The boots represent the protection of Fleance just as they protect the feet. The symbols, horse heart and crown in the boots are representatory of Ben Quo's heart and the intentions of protection for Fleance. Woo!